What is life? Who am I? Am I a writer? Does it even matter what I write anymore? Sometimes I wonder what's going to happen to me. I wonder what's going to happen to everybody else. What kind of strange world are we going into now? Everything's become different. Everything's become disconnected and hyper-connected at the same time. The paradox is expanding its polarity. Everything is becoming closer together and farther apart simultaneously. And so, I sit and I write more. Patiently, I bide my time, seeing where the world's going to end up. Where do I fit into this whole thing? I wonder. And so I write, and I wonder if anyone will ever take the time to read it, or how on earth I can ever get it published, and so on, and so forth. Other times, I sit and I draw. This is my most personal time. Nobody is allowed to watch me draw. Even though they might watch, they're not allowed to. Naturally, I only draw myself. I make sure to put in all the key features, like the dark bags under my eyes, my giant lips, my misshapen jaw, and I always draw my hair kind of weird, because I've always thought my hair was kind of weird. And, really, that doesn't look anything like me, but that's why I'm going to put these surprised eyebrows on right before I finish the eye details. There's a small, strange dog that always sleeps by the bed where I sleep. I've always wondered where she came from, because I met her when she was five. Often, I enjoy a late night tomato from the grocery bag which I've left on the counter for convenience. Because who needs to put away groceries when you can just leave them in the bag? Other times, I spin around in circles in the bedroom because it's so fun. And it's a great way to relieve stress. That feeling of centrifugal force on your arms, and the faster you spin, the more dangerous it gets. It kind of gives you a little boost of adrenaline, while at the same time preoccupying your mind, so that you're not focusing on things that are so horrible all the time. Sometimes I play guitar. And other times, I sing a song. Life is a bitch, it's gone so wrong. But in the end, I'm just the same guy who was writing on a laptop. Sometimes I wash my face and I think to myself, who am I? What have I become? Just some kind of strange writer guy with a laptop? And then I put my glasses on and I realize I can see clearly now. I can see everything. I know who I am. I'm a really, really weird guy. The preceding program was brought to you by Look Rad TV. Look Rad TV.
A new place for you to explore your boredom. Ah! Good day. Welcome back to another episode of Random Advice from an Australian guy you don't know. Australian guy! Well, I've recently learned about something called adrenal dysfunction, which can be a symptom of yeast overproduction in the gut biome. Now, I've learned that there's roughly three elements to the biome. You've got the upper digestive tract, the large intestine, and the colon. And what happens is the yeast, they start multiplying like roux out in the bout back. And uh, they take over a certain region. And they're very hard to displace. Uh, this is what leads to adrenal fatigue. And particularly, getting on a habit of focusing all your adrenals while you're at work. If you work during the daytime on a normal shift schedule. And then you get extremely tired when you come home. www.naturalamericanspirit.com <laughs> 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 <laughs>